just going to read one verse because we read the, almost the whole chapter last Sunday. We're going to be reading verse number 30 only. Uh, we back to the message, uh, the finished work of the cross. And uh, so I believe the Lord is going to bless us. John 19 verse 30, the Bible says, So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Praise the name of Jesus. We introduced the message, the finished work of the cross on Sunday. And we said that Jesus died our death. He died so that our lives would be transformed in a few ways. And we said, number one, so that we would receive the forgiveness of sin. And therefore, we say that after this, we cannot continue walking a life of sin. And number two, we cannot allow ourselves to keep struggling with sin, which has already been paid for. And we say it, that we are at liberty because Jesus has brought freedom for us. Jesus has given us salvation uh, for free, so to say, to our side, though he paid the price for us. And therefore, we are totally forgiven. Tell your neighbor, you are totally forgiven. Number two, we said we were redeemed at the cross. When Jesus said it is finished, he said your redemption is totally paid for. You are therefore a free man. And we say to redeem is to buy back. And Jesus paid a ransom according to 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 18. And we read the Bible says that we know it is not with perishable things such as silver and gold that we were bought with. But with the precious blood of the Lamb of God without a blemish. And therefore we have been bought back. We have been redeemed. Our ransom is paid for. And therefore we are free. Praise the name of Jesus. Free from every manner of oppression of the enemy. Free from generational curses. Free from, you know, behavior and things that we used to indulge ourselves in that do not glorify God. And for that, we are actually free. And then Paul tells us, I think we stopped at Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14, where Paul tells us that we were actually, uh, 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 he says that, that uh, he paid our debt, our debt for the, uh, for the redemption. Our charge sheet was cancelled and therefore we are free. We have no more case to answer because Jesus cancelled the charge sheet, the record that stood against us and therefore he is given us freedom by his death on the cross. Praise the name of Jesus. Do you know that Jesus did this willingly? One of the things that I want you to understand before we go to number three is that Jesus died out of self-will. There is nobody who had power to kill Jesus Christ on the cross. I hope you know that. There is no king, no ruler, not even Pilate himself, who had power and authority, or who had dominion over Jesus, in a way that they would kill him by force. He presented himself. He agreed to go to the cross. Alikubali kusulubishwa msalabani. Out of his self-will. And the verse that we have read this morning, the Bible says that he said, it is finished. And then after that, the Bible says, and bowing down his head. Bowing down his head. It's verse number 30. Bible says he does, he did what? He gave up his spirit. What did he do? 
he gave up. Yani, aka, uh, the direct translation of that is akapeana roho yake. Self will. Alipokunywa ile divei. Aliamua sasa kazi imekwisha. Kwa hivyo akapeana roho yake. Praise the name of Jesus. He did that out of love. That is how much he cared for us. Bible tells us, greater love has no man than this, that a man would lay down his life for a friend. Praise be to the name of Jesus. Alipeana roho yake kwa ajili yetu. Ili maisha yetu, ya kabarikiwa, ya kabadilishwa, ya kapewe, uhaimpia, so that we are able to walk in the freedom that Jesus wanted us to walk in. Praise the name of Jesus. He actually tells Pilate, I can't remember verse what, you know, that you could have no power other than that which is given to you from above. What verse was that? You know, up, 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 up some place, Jesus, he, Pilate asked him to talk, you know, and Jesus refuses to talk to him. Are you not speaking? Verse 10, he says, I mean, it says, then Pilate said to him, are you not speaking to me? Do you not know that I have power to crucify you and power to release you? Verse 11, Jesus answered, you could have no power at all against me unless it had been given to you from above. Praise the name of Jesus. Meaning that Pilate also did not have power. Watu wanasema ya kwamba, kama yesu walikuwa na wezo kwa nini haku jiokoa. But he was a man on assignment to make sure the work is finished. Unakubuku kuna mahali pegine, Biblia inasema ya kwamba alipita katikati yao lakini hawaku muona. Do you remember that verse? Even now he had power to vanish from the cross. Na wakose kumuona. Lakini ya rifanya uamuzi ya kwamba hatoki pale msalabani hadi atakapo lipa deni na iishe until the work is finished. Praise the name of Jesus. That is why you are free from sin. That is why you can walk a free, I mean a sin free life. That is why you have been redeemed. Because the work that Jesus did, alifanya kwa hiyari yake mwenyewe. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Number three, this morning. I want to try and be brief so that I finish. Number three. The work number three that was done on the cross is our reconciliation with God. Our reconciliation with God. Reconciliation ni kurudisha ile hali ya uhusiano ambayo ilikuwa imekatika kati ya mwanadamu na mungu. And we know in the book of Genesis after man sinned the relationship between man and God was broken. Na ikawa ya kwamba ule uhusiano ambao walikuwa nao where God would always come to visit man to be with him in the cool of the day. It was no longer there. Why? Because man sinned against God. So, tabi ilipoingia pale katikati ya mwanadamu na mungu. Uhusiano, ushirika ambao ulikuwa pale, ukakatizwa. Ni kama hile love heart, vijana muna tumanga, abayo ikona lightning hapa katikati, inamanisha ya kwamba, you know, it is heartbroken. Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah? Do you normally see it? Yes? Waze. <laughs> Mini rikata kuitu wa mze. Waze. <laughs> you know? Mnaikumbuka. You know? Let me tell you something. The relationship was torn apart. Mwanadamu akawa upande mwaja na mungu akawa upande ule mwingine. Why? Because of sin. And that is a point at which mwanadamu alifukuzwa kutoka shamba la Eden. Akambua ya kwamba kutoka sasa, hawezi kana mimi maana ukona dhabi. Na mimi ni mungu mtakatifu. Mimi na dhabi hatuwezi ifu pamoja. 
Mungu akachukua mwana kondoo akamchinja akamvalisha mwanadamu mavazi ya ngozi but it was still not enough to bring about forgiveness it was still not enough to reconcile man back to god so ikawa ya kwamba from that moment on there was a separation between man and god and god had all along been looking for a way of bringing back man to himself a relationship praise the name of jesus sasa wakati yesu alipojitolea the lamb of god without a blemish according to first peter chapter 2 the, the lamb of god without a blemish alipojitoa msalabani he paid for our reconciliation with god kurejeshwa kwa uhusiano we are no longer enemies to god we are no longer aliens aliturejesha katika ufalme wake sisi na mungu tuko na uhusiano wa karibu na wa urafiki bwana yesu asiwe sana god is not a policeman he is no longer a punisher he is no longer a god looking for mistakes so that he can thunder you with lightning and break your bones into pieces no you have a close and a friendly relationship with god by the death of jesus christ on the cross praise the name of jesus christ bwana yesu atukuzwe you know wakati kuna uhasama wakati kuna 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 you know enmity between mwanadamu na na mwingine they go to court what do they do when the judge does not want to 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 separate them you know and especially in issues about um, divorce and marriage and separation at times i have had cases where somebody takes the other one to court for divorce and so what happens is when the judge listens when the judge listens to the case anafika mahali anasema ya kwamba nyinyi kwa ukweli you don't deserve to be separated What do they do? What does the judge do? He gives you somebody called an arbitrator or an an arbiter. An arbitrator or an arbiter. Mnaambua mmoja mkae mahali for arbitration. Arbitration ina maanisha msikizane outside of the court. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, I want to use this to explain that. The Bible says the book of um, Let me get this right. The book of First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5. The Bible says, "For there is one God and one mediator." Yes, that's the one I wanted. And one mediator between God and men. the man Jesus Christ verse 6 who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time praise the name of Jesus you know there was a case between god and us kwa sababu sisi tumemwasi mungu so what god does is that He looks at us as sinful men. Lakini Yesu akaletwa pale katikati awe mediator. And a mediator is an arbiter. Is an arbitrator. So, Tim Paul na Bia Timotheo ya kwamba there is one mediator between God and men and that mediator is the man Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. So kazi ya Yesu ya msalaba ilikuja pale ili ilete arbitration between us who were sinners and God who is a holy God so that Jesus carried our sin. Mungu akasema nyinyi ni wenye dhambi mnahitaji kuhukumiwa. Yesu akasema ni ukweli lakini nimechukua dhambi zao nimejitwika mimi mwenyewe kwa hivyo hawa watu 
kukubali msikilizane na wao wawe watu wako tena praise the name of jesus hapo yesu akaturejesha katika ufalme wake praise the name of jesus first john chapter 2 and verse 1 First John chapter 2 and verse 1. The Bible says, I write to you little children, give me NIV. My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have one who speaks to the Father. Praise the name of Jesus. We have one who speaks to them. Amen. We have one who speaks to the Father in our defense. Who is someone who what do we call that person who speaks to somebody else on your defense? He is your advocate. Praise the name of Jesus. We have one who speaks to the Father in on your on your behalf in our defense Jesus Christ the right one let's go back to NKJV let's go back to the new king james version now the bible says that my little children these things i write to you so that you may not sin and if anyone sins we have an advocate <laughs> Jesus when he was dying on the cross he was acting as your advocate he was doing the work of advocating with the father on your behalf ya kwamba wewe ulikuwa mwenye dhabi ulikuwa unavuta sigara ya kwamba wewe ulikuwa mwenye dhabi ulikuwa unahanyahanya wewe ulikuwa mwenye dhabi ulikuwa unatusi watu wewe ulikuwa mwenye dhabi ulikuwa unaiba mchele ya neiba you know such like things lakini advocate anaingia anasema ni ukweli Huyu mtu alifanya hizi dhabi lakini dhabi zake zote nimezichukua nimejiwekelea nimemvika utakatifu wa Mungu Mungu akikuona sasa hakuoni kama yule aliyetenda dhabi anakuona kama mtakatifu mteule wa Mungu sema amen Praise the name of Jesus We were reconciled back to God Jesus came as an arbitrator and as an advocate for our sake so that we can be reconciled back to God praise be to the name of Jesus Jesus is there for your friend and not your enemy God is here for your friend and not your enemy tell your neighbor God is your friend tell your neighbor again God is your father blessed be the name of Jesus We are no longer enemies with God. Romans chapter 5 and verse 10. The Bible says Romans chapter 5 verse 10. For while we were still enemies with God, you know, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Yaani sisi tulikuwa maadui na Mungu lakini Mungu akaturejesha akarejesha uhusiano wetu na yeye kupitia kifo cha Yesu Kristo The death of Jesus Christ on the cross is what reconciled us while we were still enemies Praise be to the name of Jesus Tulikuwa kama wale maadui ambao walikuwa kwenye koti You know and we were there We were having a case God against us But instead of the judge charging that we should be taken to jail akasema nitowapea arbitrator Praise the name of Jesus And so we were reconciled back to him The work number three that Jesus came to do on the cross was to reconcile men back to God And that is where we are today Colossians chapter 1 and verse 21 Colossians chapter 1 and verse 21 Paul says Once you were aliens and enemies you were alienated from God 
and were enemies in your mind because of your evil behavior. Verse 22. But now, say but now, he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from all form of accusation. Imagine. That is who you are. Shetani anasimama, anasema, wewe unajua you have a lot of lust in your body. Yesu anasema, no more accusation. It has been washed away. Praise the name of Jesus. Shetani anasimama, anasema, wewe unakuwaga nage koro. Yesu anasimama, anasema, it has been washed away. No accusation. Praise the name of Jesus. Shetani anasema, anasimama, anasema, ya kwa baba, wewe unikuwa msherati. You even got a child out of wedlock. Yesu anasimama, anasema, no accusation. Imagine. Is this no wonderful? I mean, is there greater love than this? And that is why I don't need anybody else to come in between me and God. Because Jesus has already done it for me. Praise the name of Jesus. You don't need any other sacrifice to reconcile you back to God. Because Jesus already did it on the cross. Through the physical body of Christ when he died on the cross. So that he can present us blameless, holy, and without accusation to the Father. Praise the name of Jesus. Number four. It is finished on the cross. Number four. Our healing. I'm so passionate about this one. Our healing. When Jesus died on the cross, he died so that he can bring us healing. And I'm, not, I'm talking about physical healing. The healing of the body. The healing of the body. When we talk about forgiveness of sin, we're talking about the forgiveness, I mean the healing of the heart and of the soul. But here I'm talking about physical healing. Jesus died to bring us healing. John 19 verse 1, the Bible says that Jesus was beaten. Give me the NLT version, the New Living Translation. Ah, thank you. Now, this is Joshua, John chapter 1. I mean, Joshua, John chapter 19 and verse 1. John chapter 19 and verse 1, the text we are reading. Pilate had Jesus flogged with a lead tipped whip. That is what I wanted you to see. Ile kuchapwa, Yesu alichapwa, hakuchapwa na kiboko kama ile ulikuwa unachapwa nayo na mwalimu wa primary school. Wale watu wa DEB schools. Najua wewe ulikuwa unatumwa na mwalimu anakuambia enda uniletee kijiti. Unatafuta ile kijiti ambayo ulifikiria inafaa kukuchapa kulingana na makosa ambayo umefanya. Was your father like my father? Was he like my father? My father would always send you to go and get the cane he want to cane you with. Me when I want to cane my children, I ask for mwiko. <laughs> so I tell them, enda uniletee mwiko. You know, my, my father would tell me, go and get yourself a stick. So, unaenda unatafuta ile kiboko ambayo, inalingana na makosa ambayo umefanya. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah, Ruben is laughing at me because he knows his father was like my father. You know, lakini Yesu, Biblia inasema ya kwamba, he was not beaten with that kind of a, a whip. He was beaten with a whip had, that had lead tips. Yali pale mwisho, ilikuwa imewekwa chuma. Those of you that did chemistry in high school, you know, lead is an alloy of copper and Mulisa how? High schoolers, mkwapi. Why is Cecil? 
and Stewart. Yeah? Wame hepa wame enda sandi skuleo, eh? <laughs> Ni kama walijua. You know, you know, Tabe and Ruth, who is in form 4 here? You know, yeah? When you have a narrow way, you are making a metal harder. When we make alloys, tunasemaga tuna strengthen chuma. Dio izuvunjike haraka. Yani, walitafuta ile chuma ambayo imewekwa nguvu. Dio ikimungonga. These guys were thinking crazy, man. They were imagining yesu mwili ya yesu inaeza pasua chuma. Hawake chukua chuma ya kawaida. Walitafuta ile ambayo imekuwa reinforced. Praise the name of Jesus. Wakategeneza kiboko ya chuma. Dio walitafutandika yesu nayo. Why? Dio wakimungonga inararua. In fact, some, some scholars say that ilikuwa na hooks pale mbele. Ilikuwa na hooks. Kama zile nduwa no ambazo, tulikuwa tuna, 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 siku inda, tunafua shurugu na ayo. Praise God. Ya? Nime kwe getuwa diago teka shurugu. Haa rufeni. Karueka ya nao haa rufeni. You know? Tulikuwa tunaeda kwa mtu iku hapu karibu na kwa kina Ruben. Tulikuwa tunatafuta duwa no. I don't know what to call duano in Kiswahili or English. Hook. Yo, unatafuta kamunyogoro. A wong. Unaiweka pale kwa hile duano. Alafu sasa unafungilia kamba. Unaenda unaitupa kwa maji. Samaki, shurugu ni tu samaki tugina tudogo. Tulikuwa kwa hiyo mto. Sasa samaki inaona kale ka wong kakienda, inaenda inauma. Bila kujua kuna hook. Sasa ikiuma kwa sababu kalikuwa kamekaa hivi na wewe unavuruta. Sasa kana kana dunga hapa juu kana stick. Sasa samaki inatoka. Praise God. You know scholars say walitegemezea Yesu such a whip. Sasa ilikuwa wanamtandika hiyo whip inazunguka kwa mwili yake. Alafu wanavuruta inajishikilia kwa nyama wakivuruta inararua. I want you to imagine that. That is why it was made of lead tips. So that it would actually tear him. They say that he was beaten 39 strips. They say strips or stripes. Yeah, stripes. 39. Why? Because the Levitical law had said that the maximum that you beat someone is 40. It was imagined that if you are beaten 40, the 40th one would kill you. You would die. Na kwa sababu wa wako anataka kumuwa, they wanted to crucify him, wakasema watampiga ile maximum 39. Wakabakisha tuka moja diyo wamuwe na viboko. Praise the name of Jesus. Number three, Waka make, they made a crown of thorns and they forced it on his head. Dio irarue huku. Hizi nyama zika, hiyo those thorns zilipokuwa zinapita zinararua gozi kichwa the skull. So that his body was actually full of blood. It was soaking blood everywhere. That is the kind of beatings that Jesus received. Praise the name of Jesus. Let me bring this to your attention. The beating that Jesus received had nothing to do with your salvation. It had nothing to do with you are your restoration. Akumbe uko hapa. Nandikuwa nafikiria umeenda Sunday school. Yes. Haya tutaongea hiyo mambo ya lead baadaye. You know. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. It had everything to do with the healing of your body. Nataka uelewe hiyo. Hata kama Yesu hakuchapwa. Even if he was not flogged. Na kuflogiwa ni kuchapwa ruthlessly. Like we would say when we were boys, like a dog. Kichapwa ya mbwa. Sijui kwa nini mswa hivi ya rijua kichapwa ya mbwa ni mbaya hivyo. Even if they did not beat him, we would still have been forgiven our sins. Nataka ni wapereke pole pole mpaka ni wafikishe hapo. 
Praise the name of Jesus. Kama Yesu hakuchapa bado uhusiano wetu ugerejeshwa kwa sababu wagemsulubisha tu msalabani wampigia misumari Yesu akufe dhabi zetu zisamehewe. But they literally tortured him physically before they took him to the cross. Why? So that our healing vile mwili yake ililaruriwa mili yetu isije ikararuriwa the way he was beaten akashed blood from the wounds all over the body that beating meant that we should enjoy life and enjoy life in good health jesus says the thief cometh to steal to kill and to destroy but i have come say i have come but i have come so that you may have life and have it in its fullness that fullness means even good health praise the name of jesus yes thank you this is the kind of a crown that they put on him ya kurarua nyama za kichwa na unajua kwa nini waleka kwa kichwa ndio magonjwa yote ya kichwa aina zote za magonjwa ya kichwa covered walimchapa kila mahali ndio magonjwa yote ya aina yote ikuwe covered from head to toe they actually say that all diseases on earth can be classified to 39 categories that is why they beat him 39 stripes yes medically every manner of disease can be classified to one of the 39 stripes that Jesus received Kiboko ya kwanza inaponya magonjwa ya damu. Ya pili magonjwa ya mifupa. Ya tatu magonjwa ya maini. Ya nne magonjwa ya matumbo. Ya tano magonjwa ya miguu. Yaani 39. There is no disease that Jesus did not pay for. All sicknesses were paid for on the cross. Our healing was delivered at the cross of Calvary. The only thing we need to do is receive the healing by faith and begin to walk in it so that we enjoy the healing power. Biblia inasema nini? 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse number 22. 1 Peter chapter 20 uh, chapter 2 verse 22 NIV version Bible says he committed no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth verse 23 when they heard their insults at him and i will come to this in the next point when they heard their insults to him he did not retaliate when he suffered he made no threat instead he entrusted himself willingly you know he entrusted alijipeana to praise the name of jesus he entrusted himself to him who judges justly verse 24 he himself bore our sins in his body on the tree so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness by his wounds we or you have been healed praise the name of jesus hizo mavidoda ambazo alirua zilileta uponyaji katika maisha yako anybody sick in this service this morning we are sending you out of this service totally healed i needed to hear loud amen than that i said anybody sick in this service we sending you home totally healed in jesus name because by his Wounds. you have been healed past tense tell your neighbor past tense ambia jirani yako uliponywa kitabu ni kitabu ama ni kitambo gani the first one or the second one the second one at both of them <laughs> praise god uliponywa kitambo Praise the name of Jesus. You are already healed. Hiyo tumbo inakusumbua. Yesu alishamaliza kazi ya kuiponya. 
Ndio mgongo ambao inauma. Yesu alishamaliza mambo ya migongo kuuma. Praise the name of Jesus. Are we together? Including marasmus and kwashako zote. Aliziponya kitambo. We have been healed. What does Moses tell us? Moses tells us Psalm 107 and verse 20. Psalm 107, 107 and verse 20. So he subjected them to bitter labor. They stumbled. Verse 20. He sent forth his word and did what? And healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Talking about the, the children of Israel. God sent his word and healed them. This morning God has sent his word and already healed us. Mambo za uponyaji is non negotiable. Say non negotiable. Every time I get sick, I must get healed. Every time you get sick, you must get healed because he sent his word and healed them. And remember, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God so in other words he sent his word to heal them he bible says john chapter 1 he was with god from the beginning the word and nothing was created that was created without him the word jesus christ in other words he sent jesus christ and healed them Praise the name of Jesus. Number last, number five. The finished work of the cross, number five, is our peace. Tell your neighbor, peace. I love this one. I love this one. Peace. Jesus' death on the cross was for our peace. He, Bible says, he was scolded Now to scold someone is to how do I say it is scolding is a form of verbal abuse so to say nikukeleleshwa nikuteteshwa yeah vijana wanapenda kuambia mama zao mnapenda makelele Every time they are corrected teenagers will always say the mothers are making noise. Yeah, they are scolded as they claim. What happened to Jesus? One, he was rejected. Number two, they lied about him. They talked about him. They disrespected him. They actually put him down. I was trying to list down the things that they did to him. They mocked him. They laughed at him. They betrayed. I mean, he was betrayed actually by someone he loved. You know, all this is forms of scolding. Jesus was scolded. But he endured all this. In other words, walimnyima amani. When somebody spits on you <laughs> what would you do if somebody spat on you yes i need you to think about that is the worst form of disrespect that's why i told you please don't come chewing gum to church don't stick it on the chair nobody want to touch your saliva tell your neighbor nobody want to touch your saliva Imagine this time is not touching is spitting on your face. Yeah? Like those teachers of those days, thank God we forgive them. <laughs> yeah? How many of you had nasty teachers? Yeah? We had one. She would pinch you, she would cut hold of your cheek 
pull your cheek so hard and then spit on your face. That was bad. They did that to Jesus Christ. So that after all that they did to him, when they denied him peace, Jesus delivered peace to us. Verse number 53, I mean chapter 53 of Isaiah. Isaiah 53 and verse 5. Isaiah 53 and verse 5. Bible says, but he was pierced for our rebellion or our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. NIV version. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. This punishment is a scolding. It is an insult. It is the, the laughing at. It is a humiliation that Jesus went through so that he would give us peace. Imagine. And then he says, and by his wounds we are so that we can enjoy peace when we are healed. But imagine Jesus going through all things so that we would enjoy peace. No wonder he says to his disciples in the book of John chapter 14 and verse 27. He says, peace I give, I live with you. Peace I live with you. Peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Why? Because the punishment that brought us peace was upon him. Akachukua hiyo amani akatupea. So you can afford to enjoy peace like a river. Amen. I love a song. I don't know why they decided to say that it is a song for the barrio. But I love this song that says, When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roar, whatever my lot, how have Taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. Why? When peace like a river attended my way. Imagine, peace like a river. Wale unajua mto. Mto unapofulika. Unafulika ama unafulika. That one. Unapofulika. Unaleta majimengi. You know, peace flowing into your house. Peace flowing into your business. Peace flowing into your school. Peace flowing into your office. Peace flowing into your mind. Because there is a river. Bible says Psalm 42 and I think verse 2 or verse 3. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the dwelling place of the Most High. Praise the name of Jesus. This is the river that brings peace. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu Yesu aliteswa ili tupate amani. Tell your neighbor, upate amani. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, that's Sunday school verse. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Bible says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, and with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Verse 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all human understanding, shall do what? Shall guard your hearts and your what? Because peace in anzaga kwa mind, kabla yede kwa heart. Hope you get it. There is a correlation between the heart and the mind. Once your mind has peace, your heart is at peace. 
That is why Paul says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all human understanding, shall guard your hearts and your minds. I declare and decree to you this afternoon, as you leave the service, you are carrying peace home. You are going with the peace of God. Because Jesus paid for your peace on the cross. No sleepless night. Zakusikia ni kama mabati inagongagongwa. Tumezikata. No wonder. Jesus when he was, he, he was asleep in the boat. And there was Samuel in the, in, the, in, the, in the lake. He wakes up and says peace be still. Because he is the prince of peace. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe sana. Amen. Tumekata kukaa bila amani. Tumekata kuwa anxious because Jesus paid for our peace. You must enjoy peace. Tell your neighbor you must enjoy peace. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kuri ya doma ikara gatago kuikeda kurekia. Eh? They have no peace. Goroshi yao ikorawa ihano. Nyo yao inaka hivi. Kila wakati. Kila mahali. Kila mahali. Ni kama kukua natafuta mahali pa kutagia mayai. Or like somebody who has a running stomach. Have you ever seen the way they behave? You can actually tell this one. Who you? They go knocking every door of the toilet. Even when it's written ladies. They don't even see ladies. They still want to knock there. You know? Tell your neighbor peace. Tell your neighbor peace still. Amen. No wonder David says, "Be still and know that I am God." Isn't it? Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I. Why? Because God is the giver of peace. He says, be still. Tulia, wacha ni kuonyesha ya kwaba mimi ni mu. Nime maliza kuhubiri. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, having said that, I want to conclude by saying, you don't need any other sacrifice given for you. No more atonement. No more. Jesus paid for everything. You need no other sacrifice. You need no other sacrifice. Jesus died and paid it for you. One singer sings and says, I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is true that Jesus died. And he died for me. Praise the name of Jesus. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. There is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. I don't need any other argument. This is paid for me. I need you to walk out of this service free. Free from any form of condemnation. Free from every form of oppression. Free from every form of alienation. Free from any manner of sickness. Free from anxiety and fear. Because the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. But the spirit of power. The spirit of love. And that of sound mind. Because that is what Jesus did for us. I ask you to stand up on your feet. As we pray. I need no other plea. This in that Jesus died. And that he died for me. I need, I need no other argument. 
I need no other plea. It is in that Jesus died and that He died for me. Even this service, and you're sick in your body, I just want you to come right in front and stand next to the altar.